guys. Um, on Mondays, I like to come on here and share with you some um, glass painting tips, just some general uh, tips about how to paint glasses and how to do wine glasses. Uh, but today I'm going to talk about um, how to uh, take care of your brushes and just how to uh, clean them and how to basically take care of them. So as you know, the glass paints we use are water soluble, which means that uh, the water doesn't really mix with the paint. So you really don't want to get the water into the paint. So when you're done um, changing colors, you want to make sure that you rinse off your brush in between each color. Because first of all, that's uh, just a giveaway. You don't want to have the colors mixing. I mean, unless you want to mix them, but if you want to have each color on its own, you want to make sure that you um, do wash um, and dry your brush in between each color. So again, um, I like to use sometimes use a cup or a, um, a rinse cup that has like little ridges on it. Because sometimes you can uh, run the brush up and down the ridges and it kind of look, acts like, almost like a washboard. Um, but if you don't have a couple of the ridges, you can just, again, just rinse the um, brushes in the cup and kind of just make sure you use the bottom of the uh, cup to get all the paint off. So when you're done that, um, after you rinse in between colors, you're going to take the brush out and I would just make sure you just, like, tap it off, make sure there's no running, you know, like water dripping off of it. But after you do that, don't just go into your paint, just keep going because there'll be water on your brush. And if you do that, it'll kind of like uh, just water out the paint a little bit to where that um, it'll uh, make it to where the paint won't stick as well on the glass. It actually will make it kind of come off and it won't dry as good and it actually has more of a tendency to come off if you're washing it after the glass is all the way done. Um, so make sure that you always rinse off your brush and then after you do that, make sure that you just dry it off in between, in between each color before you start to use it again. So just dry off your brush, you know, with a paper towel or a napkin or something. And then also one important thing is to make sure that you dry not just the, you know, the end of the brush like this, but when you're rinsing it, usually it goes into the water about this far down. Um, so you want to make sure that you dry off, you know, the brush itself. So I just quickly go like this and then I'm done. So if you miss this part, it'll kind of drip down all the way again into the paint, start dripping down and it just gets into the paint again. So just rinse off your brush um, like that. And, and then also you can just, um, sometimes they get, you know, open like this after you dry it off, it'll be like this. So I always make the best practice to just um, dry off my brush and then I just kind of just look, go like this on the end of it. If it's a flat brush, just you know, flatten it like this with your fingers or if it's a round brush like this, then you would just um, you know, use this to kind of twist it and make it, uh, use your fingers to get it nice and pointed. So again, just the best practice is make sure that you rinse your brushes between colors, but also go ahead and dry them off um, between uh, colors as well and also before you use it, don't have the water on the brush because it'll make the pot of the uh, paint will be watered down and also it'll make it so it doesn't stick on the glass and it'll come off again if you try to um, paint over different layers of it or if you uh, try to dry it and wash it later on it might just come off the glass too so just make sure you uh, get all the extra water off and then your brushes will stay nice and good and again after you um, use them just uh, dry them off all the way when you're all the way done and then just store them in um, a nice um, I like to store them up like this in a jar um, if you don't store them upside down in a jar or something, then they can get, um, uh, the shape of the brush can kind of get distorted. So you don't want to do that. Just, I would use them to do them like this, um, in a glass jar or, um, in a container, just stand them up like this. And also in a, in a, in a dry spot, uh, you want to make sure that they do get dried in between. Uh, you don't want to leave the brushes like, um, in a plastic bag or, uh, something like that that's going to get moisture in it. So especially if you're doing classes and you say if you're doing the in-person classes, of course online classes you're doing at your home, but if you're doing an in-person class um, and if you have all your brushes, I actually like to just throw them in a plastic bag, like a big Ziploc bag. I like to rinse them off and just dry them off and throw them in that bag. But if you leave them in that bag, then they're going to, um, you know, get moisture in there and it's going to get kind of moldy on your brushes. So when you get home, make sure you take them out of that bag and make sure they're washed off all the way and dried off nicely. And then just leave, leave them laid out on a paper towel or something to dry all the way. And then put them maybe um, either like up like this into a jar or and maybe to a, a cardboard box for storage. You don't want to store them in plastic um, just because it just um, makes it so where they don't dry all the way. You don't want to get moldy brushes. You don't want to have to waste your brushes. They can be pretty expensive. So you don't want to, you know, have to throw them away. So anyways, those are just some tips about um, how to clean your brushes and how to store them. And I'll see you guys next week with some more tips. All right, thanks. Bye-bye.